Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to prepare for front-end interviews. As a front-end developer, I have been interviewed from uh, the small or large companies a few times. And also for my current position, uh, I have also interviewed a lot of candidates. So from my past experience, I summarized the preparation guide into three steps, just just three steps. And uh, following these three steps, I will believe that you could get your dream offer. So let's begin. The first one, uh, wait a second. The first one, follow your recruiter's advice. This is super, I would say super easy and super important, but not all the companies do this. For large companies like Fan Company, I have received uh, I received some interviews from a uh, Google, from Facebook, and from some Indeed, and they had the, the recruiters are so nice. They tell us about how to prepare for the interviews. So just to follow the advice from recruiter and ask if you are not sure about anything about the problems, difficulty about about uh, what the problem would be like. Yeah, they would just to tell you everything they could. And uh, sometimes I think they, they, they have made the, uh, uh, the preparation guide so obvious that um, anyone could get into their company if they follow the guide uh, follow the guide well, I would say. So the first step, follow your recruiter and ask them. The second one, practice on BFE.dev. So, okay, let's open the BFE.dev. Yeah, this is BFE.dev, and you see, you can see that there are several sections. The first one is coding problems, something like lead code, and for front end, I would say algorithms is important, but not that important, and uh, because not a lot, all companies expect that you have to be so good at algorithms. Most of the time, the, the problems would be uh, the basic algorithm problems plus some JavaScript, right? Uh, for some JavaScript and DOM API, if you're good at, if you are okay with that, that's fine. And the second one is answer a lot of questions. This may be uh, different for different companies. For the companies that are not so strict on the codings, they would add. They might be asking a lot of questions. For for example, for my current employer, um, actually they ask a lot of questions rather than your coding uh, test. Okay, and then the system design. Uh, this could actually just be any product you want. You just pick. Uh, they are listed the fourteen here, and they just pick someone you you, you are interested in and start building or uh, designing for it. And also there are about uh, fifty quizzes. Uh, this is actually not important. I would strongly suggest that you spend your time mostly on the coding and the system design and these questions. Okay, so BFE.dev is super cool and uh, they're actually free. Not that least code, they, yeah, you need to buy the membership to see the result or stuff, right? Okay, so this is BFE, just step, start practicing on it. Okay, the last step, practice talking. Well, this is super important besides the coding skills, besides the system design. You need to uh, convey your thoughts to the interviewers. Rightly and positively, right? As an interviewer, I would expect you to be positive, to be f funny, I would say. To be, yeah, if you smile, I will smile. If you make me uh, make me relaxed, I would say th there is a huge impact on your uh, evaluation, right? Even though they say that the Q&A time doesn't affect the, the final judgment but in practice i would say it affects and a lot okay here's a book called how to talk to anyone i'm also reading this book right now yeah it well tells you some some uh i would say uh tips or tricks to make you confident to make you positive okay anyway if you are able to set up set up your own youtube channel do it spend time on it and just to share me your YouTube channel link, I will subscribe to it and possibly share your channel in my channel. Okay, just, uh, yeah, practice talking, laugh a lot, 
And also, don't forget to to write down your self introduction and、uh, prepare a lot of not not a lot, a few、uh, questions for the Q and A time. Right? Don't waste the time asking some some meaningless questions like what about the salary, what about, is is it stressful or not, or blah blah blah. Remember, the Q and A time is a super important time to attract the. Attract the intention, attract the、uh, interviewers. Right? You ask some questions to make them feel that you have thought about, thought a lot about this position, and thought a lot about the、uh, daily work, your job. If the question is so,、uh, the 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 idea is that to to make the interviewer talk. Right? If you if you're able to make someone talk a lot, then you you succeeded in attracting their attention. Okay, so that's it. Practice talking. Set up your own YouTube channel. Yes, practicing on BF BFE dot dev and follow the recruiter's advice. So, that's my the only three steps. But <laughs> yeah, it might contains a lot of details, but、uh, I hope it helps. Okay, that's all for this video. Stay tuned for my next one. Okay, bye bye.